Okay, I think we are live. So, hi everyone out there. This is Sandra, also known as Ebony Empress. So, how are you guys doing today? This is my very first live stream. And I just want to invite you all to come in and have a chat with me. We are actually going to have a bit of a conversation. I'm with Garth Sandy Ford, and he is in Barbados. Yeah. So we're going to try and have a little conversation about gratitude. And uh, we would love to hear your thoughts. So feel free to jump into my chat and uh, send us some messages of encouragement. <laughs> This is a little bit of out of my comfort zone for me because you guys know I do my videos, but I never do live. So uh, I think uh, Garth has persuaded me to do something I wouldn't normally do. But here we go. Here we go. Anything goes wrong, I'm blaming him. But yeah, we're good. We're good. So we're going to talk about gratitude. And gratitude is something that kind of crosses all the various faiths or even non-faith. There's so many people out there who are grateful for life, grateful for health, grateful for so many things. And Garth is here because he set up a group which um, I joined recently, which is all about gratitude. So welcome, Garth, to this conversation. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm honored to to, to be on your show and, and be the first guest. Wow, what an <laughs> honor. I, that's something to be grateful for. I uh, I remember when I did my first live, uh, I was nervous and, and all those things. And, and then after 30, 30 days of doing it, I, I, I felt a little bit a little bit of comfort. And as you know, I'm also doing daily lives on, on Instagram and Today is day number 30 for me, uh, and it's all based around gratitude. I call it my gratitude 365 life challenge. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that, you know, I was I was I was uh, in the more in the gratitude room this morning. And I, I, I realized the source of that opportunity came from one of the guests that comes to our, our room. Her name is Robin. And and one day Robin inspired me to do a do a, a video challenge. And, and I did a video challenge as I had stated I would. And when I did, I was like, you know, this is not too bad. I like this. This is fun. So so every day I I uh I, I go on as I, at a random time, it's never at the same time every day, but it could be. And it may be in the future, it depends. And I just get on for you know anywhere from 30 seconds, which never which hasn't happened yet. But you know, I've gone as long as 17 minutes, and and I just talk about gratitude and what I'm grateful for, and the things that are, are coming up for me in in, in my in, in that moment. Uh, one of the things that came up for me uh, today was a, 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 an event that happened yesterday, mm -hmm. where I saw I saw humanity in action. One of our one of our, our newer moderators uh, had lost his wife. And he uh, requested that we keep the room open so we could, you know, uh, keep him company. And so the room went on and, and, and the moderators, fellow mods came in and even guests came in and, and, sh and shared their condolences and and um, and uh, shared, you know, uh, he shared about some fond memories. And and I and I, I was thinking to myself, like, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> you know, and, and so what so what happened for me in that moment as I was thinking this is amazing. I started to think about the day when I first did the first gratitude room because now we are in our second year of of, uh, of of sharing gratitude on a daily basis, and I remember the day, the morning, when I picked up the phone and and I called uh, Amanda, who is a friend of mine in New Jersey, and said, "How do you do this clubhouse thing? How does this work? How do you create a room?" And she went, she walked me through the steps. And, 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 and we did that and I was like, okay, all right, I'm still not ready. So, cause my, my small mind, there's a thing, you know, my small mind was talking to me and saying, oh, dude, you got to get this right. You, you don't even know what you're doing. How are you, you know, how, you know, people probably not, don't want to hear what you have to say. And my small mind was blah, 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 blah. Oh, and wow. so, uh, and so I said, well, let me call Tony. So I called Tony, uh, and, and, and I'll, I'll tell you in a second why Tony is important. Well, he, So we have the gratitude room at his club on Clubhouse called the Get Up and Grow Club. 
So I called Tony. He says, yeah, do this title and put these in all caps and and uh, ask these questions. And, and I said, well, when do I do it? He says, well, you can do it right after our success room at 8.30 a.m. I'm like, okay. And so I hung up the phone uh, from Tony. But before I hung up the phone from Tony, I said to him, well, you know, let me think about it. And I will get back to you on Monday and let you know what I decide to do. And I and then I hung up the phone. Well, there's no, 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 there's no more clicks anymore in the phone calls, right? It's just a, a push the button, right? End the call. And so uh, I, I ended the call, and, and I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, what are you afraid of? Like, just schedule the room. And so and so I, I, I picked up my phone and did what he told me to do, and I went in and I scheduled the very first room. And that was back in April of, of last year. I think April 5th or 6th was the very first room that we had. And, and, and so uh, fast forward to yesterday and the experience that we had, and there have been many numerous experiences that I've had in this room, uh, and I thought of that moment, had I not followed through with that, maybe someone else would have started a gratitude room or maybe not, or maybe would have had a different experience. But I, 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 I had then gratitude for that moment, even though I was afraid I had gratitude for the moment and gratitude for the fact that I actually took the action because since then we have impacted lives of, of thousands of people around the world. And which 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 still blows my mind. So, so uh, and I know you you probably got more questions and and, and uh, yes, just, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, so let me tell you about Tony real quick. Tony is the Hello. reason I started practicing daily gratitude when I was having a challenging time in my life. Uh, you know, my lights actually got shut off. I was I was a realtor in New Jersey, and I had ran out of money. I couldn't I couldn't I didn't have enough cash to pay the bills. And I was showing properties and 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 running around and 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 I just didn't have the funds to do it, and so my lights got shut off. And the following week, this is now a week without electricity. I'm at this thing called a power team meeting, and uh, Tony, uh, Tony, uh, we we're talking. He says, "You know what? This gratitude is something amazing." And I got this guy, you know, and then he's talking, talking, talking. And I'm like, "Okay, yeah." He says, "Why don't you try?" It? He says, "Why don't you send me uh, something you're grateful for?" every day and every day make you know add something to it that's unique or make at least one of the things unique and so my first gratitude text to him was i was grateful for hot water and scented soap because i had a generator and i was mm -hmm. able to plug in the hot water heater so it would it would it would fire up the the gas and the the, the extractor fan on top would would work and i could have hot water to take a shower and i and, and the soap was I, I irish spring i like irish spring soap and that that's how it all started for me and that was over wow. three years ago Three years okay. and 30 days to be exact. That's awesome. That is awesome. So some people might know, others may not know. So let me share this. I have a channel called Hidden Gems. And uh, that's on YouTube, actually. So anybody who wants to go look me up, go on YouTube and you'll find Hidden Gems. I asked Garth to come tonight because he is a hidden gem. His story about uh, starting this gratitude room is so profound. It's such a great experience for those of us who actually get involved and who moderate like I did for the first time this weekend gone. Um, <laughs> it, you know, it's a real opportunity to meet others who are on a similar journey and who have a similar mindset. So I want to take you back, Garth. I know you talked about Tony and his involvement, but mm -hmm. before you met Tony, before all of that happened and you birthed this gratitude uh, room and the whole gratitude experience of, you know, giving your gratitude every day on Instagram. I do watch you and I'm like, wow, everyday life. Um, what were you doing? Where were you? Why, why do you think you needed gratitude in your life? Okay. Well, that is, uh, that is a, that is a really uh, great question. I, I knew about gratitude and uh, I, I, I guess I could say I didn't even have an intellectual understanding. I just knew that there was a word called gratitude. And uh, I then I, I, every once in a while I would say I'm grateful, but I didn't know what it meant. Um, and what was I doing before? Before all of this happened many, many years ago, probably you know, about two decades, I maybe even longer than that, I decided that I, I wanted to be in personal development. And I was working in corporate. And I wasn't happy, you know, money was good, life was good. 
um, but I just wasn't happy. I felt like there was a need for me to be able to do something else with my life. But I was, I was, I was hooked into the page, the paycheck. And so, um, so eventually, you know, as, as life has it, you know, um, you know, the universe knows what you want or what you need and, and, and it creates circumstances to get you what you want and need, whether you like it or not. Uh, if you, especially if it's on your heart and you have a desire for it. So at, uh, I think it was in 2006, I, I decided that I was going to retire from corporate and I was going to go full time. Uh, I had started a coaching company with some other colleagues. My mentor was one of them and, and, uh, and it didn't work out. And shortly after that, we had that recession back in 2007, 2008, uh, where things really, you know, took a downturn. Uh, and, I just continued on. I, I I was doing personal development, and you know, in, in the in the in the uh, <clears throat> the Anthony Robbins space. I, I did my first event back in two thousand four, and you know, I I always knew that I love to help people. I always knew that, and it took a lot of work for me to find that out. I did a lot of exercises, um, but I knew I always wanted to help people, and and so uh, so everything that I d did was geared towards helping people. But yet, even still then, I didn't know what I know now. And the reason what happened now happened was because of that event with the, you know, the loss of power. That's when I really started to embrace gratitude. So if you were to ask me, well, what was the moment that you really knew gratitude was something that you were going to do? It was three months later when I still didn't have any power <laughs> and I was having the best summer of my life. And how is that possible, right? Things are not like circumstances weren't weren't perfect, but yet I was having this amazing summer and having the time of my life with hardly any money because I, whatever money I made, I had to put it back into the business. And so, so I, you know, and and there was just never enough to to uh, turn the lights back on. And then something miraculous happened. I uh, this is three months in now, uh, and. Uh, you know, working in, you know, spending most of my time in the office. I, there was two, I was on a team. So I would go to the team office and I had another office in another location. I would spend my time there because there was no place else to go. That's the only place my equipment worked. And uh, one night, uh, a friend of mine reached out to me and uh, said said to me, uh, you know, what's going on? I haven't seen you in a, in a minute, you know? And so, so I said, yeah, this is what's going on. This is what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm, I'm this is the experience that I'm having. I shared that there was no power and, and that, and we had our conversation and we continued on and okay, nice talking to you catch up with another, another time. Uh, the next day I, I get a phone call from that person and, and they said, I could not sleep a wink. I could not sleep a wink knowing that you were in this, in this situation and all the stuff that you're always doing for people. And they asked me what I owed and I told them and, and, and they said to me, well, listen, I'm not going to lend you this money. I'm going to gift it to you. Wow. I go turn. I just want you to go pay the bill and get your lights back on because this is ridiculous. So, so that morning I, I, I gave her my bank account. The money was transferred and, and, um, I, uh, I, um, I, I, I went, went to the office like I normally do. One of my routine when I, I called the utility company, made a payment. And uh, they told me that to you know to be back by like 1 32 o'clock so someone can be there when when the, the technician comes. So I did that. And when I came back home, uh, it was the, the the power was was on. And I remember walking in into to the house and and the lights were on, the fridge was working, and the place was wow. just bright and sunny and, and shiny because it was a summer day, uh, May, June, July. It was August. And I was just like, wow, this is this is crazy. And in that moment, I think gratitude became a part of my heart and soul. In that moment, I had tremendous gratitude for for what uh, gratitude meant. And I believe and still to this day um, that that is why that gift uh, came to me. And, uh, you know, I I used to get very emotional when I told this 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 story because it was so impactful. I still get a little bit emotional, but not like like I used to. I mean, I, I would start crying and and stuff like that because I, I couldn't believe that someone would be that generous. And I think in there on, a, on an unconscious level, I had this thing that I wasn't worthy of someone helping me, even though I was always helping other people, you know, and I was always doing stuff for other people. And they were like, dude, whenever you come around, good things happen. But I didn't feel 
on, on an unconscious level that I was worthy. And that, that was really, I could say that I really allowed, I was so humbled and I was in such a place of, of, of like helplessness that I had no choice um, because the winter was coming soon and, and the fall. And I knew I had to get things back on either. Otherwise pipes were going to start to burst in my house. And um, I'm thinking, so it was in that moment in that day that I, I, I became fully constituted, committed to, uh, to the daily gratitude practice. Now, uh, fast forward, uh, you know, I, I've been practicing gratitude on a, every day, every single day I have sent Tony a, a text message of what I've been grateful for. And now I have sent him three years worth of text message plus wow. 30 today. Have not missed a single day, you know, whether I was sick or I was traveling on, on an airplane or, or no matter what was going on, I, I always found the time. And typically I send that message out early in the morning, typically when I first wake up. And, and, and I didn't even know that that, that message, uh, and that goes out to about 50 people plus a thousand people in, in the Facebook group. And um, I didn't know that, that that was having an impact on people's lives until one day I didn't get to do my gratitude in the morning. I, didn't, I couldn't get to it until 2 p.m. that day. And the amount of messages that I got from people, what, are you okay? What happened? Oh, I, 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 lo- I, I start my day with your gratitude text. Like, what's going on? You know, and I was like, wow, <laughs> you never respond. <laughs> and then and there was a lesson there to be learned, too. It's just because people don't respond doesn't mean that they're not paying attention, right? You know, Absolutely. So, yeah, so I had that. And uh, so that would be how I how I got there. Uh, and and where I am today is, is, a, is a whole nother process. <laughs> well, that's a powerful story. And I'm sure those who are listening, I just want to say hi to all my family who are on my chat right now. Um, Veronica, <laughs> Shaney, <laughs> hi to Vaughn. And I'm just saying hi to my guys out there because, yeah, I, thank you for the support. Wayne, my bestie, um, thank you guys for joining me. Um, yeah, so let's get back to the conversation. <laughs> so okay. I just want to ask, like, who would you say in your life you are really grateful for? Because I think we understand the power now of gratitude because you've told us that brilliant, beautiful story about what, you know, the journey went on to getting your lights on and, you know, your life changing as a result. And I think people will, re- that will resonate with people. We, I'm sure we all have a story, but, you know, who would you say? Who who is the key person or persons that you would say you are grateful for in your life right now? Uh, that there's so many. Um, Apart from me, key people. <laughs> well, there, there, there are many. Um, well, okay. one 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 for sure. I am grateful for Tony Rodriguez uh, because it was his his challenge to me that transformed my life. And, and, and an example of just one little thing, one little thing that we can do can make all the difference in the world for another human being. And that one challenge that he gave me has not only made a difference for me, it's made a difference for my family and it's made a difference for thousands of people who benefit from this daily gratitude room every day. Uh, the, the moderators, the guests who visit us, uh, it, it, it is, it is, it's, it's, it's a massive, massive impact because I have now a, a, a goal to want to share this gratitude with as many people as possible and, and be a 24 hour movement uh, and, and reach millions of people. And that just that one little thing. Uh, so that would be number one. Um, um, you know, I, I, my mother uh, would be the, would be the other, another person uh, because after I had that experience and I had that wonderful summer, I had to uh, change countries. I had to leave uh, America and, and come back to to my to to to, to you know Barbados, uh, and um, and I don't think that I would have started a gratitude room if I had stayed in New Jersey because in New Jersey I was I was hustling I was moving around I was doing stuff. Coming here caused me to have to slow it down a little bit. You know, island life is is a little moves a little slower than it does in in in, in North America on the East Coast, and so I, I I slowed it down and and then we went into a pandemic shortly after I arrived and that even slowed it down even more. And this, this uh, movement was started in the pandemic in the, in the beginning stages of the pandemic, it was in April and we were just in that, that, that space. And, and that's when it was created. It didn't, you know, I, I don't know that if I were in 
the peak of, of, of life in real estate that I would have even had the time to, to stop to do these things. And, and since then I, 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 I have experienced a tremendous joy from that. So that would be, you know, my, my mother, um, because it was her that really motivated and my dad too, uh, because he was not well. And, and, uh, I wanted to be able to support them. Uh, you know, there are other people, uh, there are some, uh, there's one friend of mine, he's no longer here. He recently passed away about six weeks ago, Gus. And, uh, you know, Gus and I would chat a lot and Gus, uh, passed from cancer and, you know, uh, you know, he, he taught me, uh, to, 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 he, he helped me to understand that, that, that life is, you know, we are here and, and our goal should be to live as long as possible to live as long as possible because we don't know when our, our time is going to be up. And, uh, and then there, there are the people that I'm grateful for now are, are, are a part of a lot of, of all of my leadership team that, uh, helps me to, to, to lead the gratitude room. Because as you know, <laughs> when you get into having an organization, you have lots of people and, and it takes a whole village that you need some structure. And, and, and so we started to put some structure in there and, and I'm grateful for those people. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful for my kids, uh, you know, because I had to, uh, I had to, uh, say goodbye to them and in some ways and leave them behind in, in, in New Jersey. So that, uh, and, and come here. And then, you know, my friends, when I first got here, uh, from childhood, you know, they helped me to kind of get a reset and to get back on track. Uh, because I'll tell you, you know, coming back here, you know, that first year was like, okay, how do I do this stuff? <laughs> Where do I go? And, and, um, you know, yeah. And, 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 and there's many more people uh, that I could, I could, I could talk about. Well, thank but you those so are much. You no, know, thank you yeah. so much for sharing your heart. Um, I think, you know, sometimes it's hard to think about things that connect and trigger emotions. So thank you so much for that share. I know it came from a lovely place. Um, I wanted to ask you for those people kind of listening, um, I know we're kind of on that journey now, but how do people get started when we're talking about gratitude? What what would you suggest, uh, you know, what should be their kind of mantra, uh, you know, in terms of having a really powerful uh, life with gratitude? What, how would they get started? What's your thought? Well, the only way to get started is to start, number one. <laughs> <clears throat> and don't make, and I would say don't, it doesn't have to be complicated. I started out with two things that I was grateful for, uh, and that grew to three, and then to four. And now, you know, most days I, I write at least ten to fifteen things that I'm grateful for, and then I got five things that are on repeat uh, that I'm grateful for. And uh, but you start, you start, you start wherever you are, and 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 at least have one or two things. And as you as you write it down and you look at it, you start to become grateful for other things. And I don't often repeat the same things. I try to have new different things. Uh, I probably would say that that I, I've probably got over 4,000 unique things that I've been grateful for over the last three years. Um, and, um, you know, you just start small. The, the key is to be consistent. Yeah. You know, you know, do it daily. You know, don't take breaks in between. Do it daily. Be, become committed to, to uh, sharing your gratitude uh, with yourself. And then if you want to take it to another level, share it with someone else. And if you want to take it to another level, share it with two people. And if you want to take it to another level, come uh, visit us in the gratitude room or join us on Facebook, uh, or join our group and share your gratitude there. And as you become comfortable and you start to do it, uh, there's this, 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 I call it magic, but it's not magic. There's this, this, this energy that, that takes place and, and you start to feel happy and you start to feel joyful. And, but when you share it out loud, when you actually speak your words of gratitude, I am grateful. Um, Cause whatever comes after the word I am uh, is, is almost like you're speaking it into existence. It causes transformation. And I see it happen enough times to know that there is some, some power and gratitude is, was one of those things that, that uh, it impacts your health it impacts your finances it impacts your well being. It impacts your 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 relationships, your business, uh, you know, uh, your your mental health. It's just so many things that gratitude impacts. So it is something that 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 
the more you do it, the more you will experience it. And I don't think that enough people take enough time. But I think that it's important to have that word I am before. I am grateful for the opportunity to be on your show. I'm grateful to be the first person to be on your show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I am grateful. I'm grateful that I get to talk about gratitude. Mm -hmm. you know, my cell phone i'm grateful for my computer that we're on i'm grateful for the technology that allows us to 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 have this conversation i'm grateful for the camera that i'm using to uh to uh speak to you i'm grateful for for the lights i'm grateful for the air-conditioned room that i'm in right now because it's hot outside you know i'm grateful for the hat that i'm wearing i'm grateful for the shirt i'm grateful for my glasses yeah. because i get to see you know um you know i'm grateful for my shoes there's, you know, and, and you can just go on. I'm grateful for the chair that I'm sitting in. This my son gave this chair to me, and I'm grateful for it. So when I sit in this chair, I think of my son because this is it was his gaming chair, uh, and and the list goes on and on. Okay, well, I think we have had a good little journey into gratitude. I got to say that you know when I started joining you guys, um, I I have always been a praying person anyway. So I felt mm -hmm. like you know what. I pray all the time. It's, you know, what's the gratitude going to change? What is gratitude going to change for me, really? Um, it's just saying these words. But actually, adding it into my prayer has really been powerful for me. It has been amazing to open the door to a whole new world of really great people, um, uh, interesting experiences, people who are connected to the things that I am really interested in. And mm -hmm. sometimes those people are hard to find. It's hard to find your tribe sometimes. But, you know, going into Clubhouse, meeting you guys, getting into Gratitude Room has just added some wonderful energy to my life. So I am grateful for your work, <laughs> which allowed me to experience something new in my life. Um, right. And I'm grateful that you're wearing the right colours because somehow we didn't even agree it, but I think we're coordinated. So well done. I love coordination. Yeah. Well, I guess I got, I got the energetic memo. Uh, to, <laughs> I know. think you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you sent it out and I received it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. so um, anybody who's in my chat, if you have a question, I mean, you know, feel free to put it on my page and we'll try and answer it. Well, we can't, you know, I think we've had a good, um, a good sort of journey so far, but there may be someone with a question about gratitude. If anyone has a question, I'm going to give you a chance to put your question in because this is an interactive session as well. And it is my first, so come on, be the first to ask a question on Ebony's little <laughs> live because we have not done it alive before. So um, thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been amazing. Um, I did ask you about your life. In the future, uh, where would you like to see the whole gratitude journey go? What would you like to see um, as a future outcome for this journey that you started three years ago? Wow. Um, I think about that all the time. And the thing that I think about is the lives that, that, that I, I want to impact. And what I see in the future is is that this is is truly an international movement that we are in just about every country on the planet and that there's gratitude we call ourselves gratitude warriors so there are gratitude warriors everywhere and from it uh comes a nonprofit that is going to do good and uh spread gratitude uh in communities local communities countries uh, uh i mean I, I'm, I'm even i'm even saying i, I want to see an organization the size of the red cross <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, that's bold, but I, I, I think that that's possible. I don't think that there's enough focus on goodness and gratitude. We've got so much stuff that we that we that we get bombarded with. And and there is people out there that want to do good. I will tell you one thing that happened to me um, after about two weeks in the gratitude room. As people were coming in from different countries, I started to see that it doesn't matter where in the world you're from. Um, we all want to be grateful. We all have something to be grateful for. And people were sharing their gratitude. And and I was getting to experience their experience of life because, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't really uh, aware of what life was like. You know, to hear someone talk about it live daily is a completely different experience than you go watch it on TV or 
or a, a YouTube video, but to hear a physical human being share their gratitude and to share about their circumstances. I saw people, we have we have a, a guy, Subramani in India, and we have a lot of people from India who are part of the gratitude movement, um, and he's blind and he is a volunteer and he, he, he manages one of the rooms, a segment uh, we had, cause we do it in 90 minute segments. Uh, and, and, and if he didn't tell you that he was visually impaired, you wouldn't know it. And, and, and when I see people like that, or I see people who had uh, physical challenges, uh, uh, multiple sclerosis and, and cerebral palsy oh, yeah. and they're coming and they're, they're participating. I'm seeing them heal. Uh, I was like, this, <laughs> this needs to, to get to more people. This needs to be out there. And so my, my goal and my mission and the mission of, of, of our team is, is to, is to expand this to 24 hours first. And then secondly, yeah. to have it be a solid movement with, uh, with, a, 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 a given component to it where we can go in and we can teach skills and teach people how to be grateful, um, what, it, what is required and, and to have, uh, people look for opportunities to practice gratitude and, and, and do good in the world and, and possibly even help other nonprofits uh, to, to, to do that as well. There are, there, there are some other clubs and clubhouse that we've partnered up with um, and, and some fundraising, you know, we've, we've, we've raised money for an orphanage uh, to buy land and to build a house and, and the, the people want to give, people want to make a difference. And, and so if we can facilitate that uh, and we can help people help people help people right just like heal people heal people so help people help people and, and and the more people we can help the more we can accomplish the more we can get done oh, so that's my vision for the future amazing 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 thank you to everyone who's been sharing my video come on guys share 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 uh we've got a, a, a few minutes left we've not got too much too much longer to go but please share someone might get a jam from just listening in. Um, I just want to talk about COVID because COVID and uh, the whole lockdown period across mm. the world has been a major challenge for us. Uh, those of us who have made it through, uh, we need, I feel like we need a different level of gratitude because we, so many people, I think when I go through my Facebook names, uh, there are so many people who have left, have gone as a result of that virus. Um, how did it affect your journey and what did you see in those rooms during the period of lockdown? Because I know you guys were going during that period. Yeah. So what did you learn from the whole COVID and lockdown experience and how did that affect people's ability to have gratitude? Well, one thing I, you know, I lost a few friends in COVID, um, very close friends, um, um, super sad. And uh, many, many people lost family members and friends and, and uh, super sad. And one of the things that uh, I saw was that there was this need that people had to want to connect with each other to one, to, to, even if it couldn't be in a physical form uh, because of lockdown, there was this, there was this need to connect uh, in, a, in a space like Clubhouse, which, which created a whole paradigm shift and, and connecting with people that to this day, uh, people are still coming to Clubhouse to have that experience. Uh, it allowed us to connect globally uh, from Barbados to to uh, Japan, to you know, uh, even some parts of China, to Russia, uh, uh, Ukraine, you know, Mexico, Italy, Spain, uh, you name it, you know, other parts of the Caribbean, we, 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 we experienced people can, coming in and connecting with us. And so, um, COVID created an opportunity for me. Uh, it created an opportunity for a lot of people. Uh, it, it, you know, we switched to virtual uh, and almost uh, in, in every way. And so we, we, we started to see that it is possible to do things virtually. You don't have to be in an office. Um, uh, it, in a lot of ways, it's a lot more efficient. Um, it, uh, it, it showed me that, uh, you know, every circumstance, there's, there's opportunity. And uh, even though it was something that brought the world to its knees and it was crippling at one point, it also created some 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 opportunities for many people to think outside of the box and to to do like the gratitude room was was that, you know, let's share gratitude wherever you are in the world. Come come join us and share gratitude. And so I've seen COVID as COVID as uh, uh, almost for me, it was like a reset and a period to reset myself and to kind of think about what what I want in the world, what I want to do. 
and what I want to create. And now that we're going back to normal, which I'm happy about, uh, I don't think it would be the, it's going to be a new normal, but I'm, and I'm happy about it. it. It made me realize how important it is to have human connection, to have physical contact. I mean, I was here with my parents, but, but to have that human contact, to get a hug, <laughs> you know, that is, that is something that I appreciate even more now. Uh, and so, uh, I've made a few, I made trips to the, to, to, to the U S during COVID. Uh, so I, I, I was still able to, to see my kids and, and to see other friends and, and family there, but, uh, it, it definitely had, uh, had an impact on me, uh, similar to nine 11, where I, I, it's not an experience that I will, I will ever forget, you know, the, the, the moment in time when the world stopped, <laughs> no more air travel for, for a period of time. And, and you were locked in and, we, and, and, and you had to remain in your home except for specific times where you were allowed to go out and, and do some shopping and stuff like that. Could even go to the beach here. And that was restricted. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, and, and that was, it was, it was, it was interesting to see that happen. So I don't tend to really focus on, on those things uh, per se. And I tend to focus on the goodness that's going on in the world and, and what I can do to make this world a better place. Uh, it tends to be my focus, but, uh, you know, in times of, of winter or, or, or when opportunities are created because, you know, you, you have to look, think outside of the box. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> it certainly does. A final question, because you are a leader, you're a leader in your community. Uh, you know, you lead the groups you do so much. Um, as someone who likes to inspire leaders, and that's a whole reason why I created the YouTube channel, Hidden Gems, it was really mm -hmm. to expose leaders, to give them a, a platform to actually express what they're doing in secret, in which more people could know about. Um, what advice would you give to any leaders out there, people who are thinking about creating their next big gem to change the world? You've done something that I think is creating change. What, what would you advise any up and coming leaders in terms of what they need to do next? You know, um, I saw something the other day. I happened to be in a leadership event uh, this past week, and, and there was someone who said something. I don't remember who said it, but I just remember writing it down. And, and, and leaders get things done and followers talk. All right. And so so the the if you want if you're a leader and you want something to happen, you just have to go out and do it and find the people that can help you. And 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 if you do that, I am almost certain that that the 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 universe, God, whatever you believe, is going to deliver the resources to because I, I can tell you. When I started the gratitude room, I had no idea. I didn't even know how 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 I would even keep a room open for 24 hours until I made a phone call to California and the, and the person said, "Oh, you just open it once and it just stays open all day. You just got to keep it running." I'm like, "Okay, that's easy." But then I had to figure out like, "Okay, how do we how do we how do we how do we do this uh, with with volunteers? Like, how do we do time slots? Then we figured out the time increments, and then we figure out well, how do we recruit people? How do we get people to help us? Oh, we need a form. We need it needs to be online." Okay, well now we need a form. We need scheduling, and so all these things kind of evolved. And then the team came in, and the team started to make suggestions and recommendations, and and it kind of just built it out. And I I don't think that I I would have ever been able to sit with a pencil and paper and say this is what it's going to look like, down to the to, to the to the to the cross across the T, you know. Um, that is something that happens organically. So I trust the process. I trust that the resources and the information will come up. And, uh, you know, that's one thing. And the other thing is um, living life on the on the outside of your comfort zone instead of on the inside of your comfort zone. I had to push through my fears and I still have to push through my fears. And the more I push through my fears, the more uh, I expand, the more I learn and the more I'm able to create. And so I, I had to not be afraid uh, and, and, and give up the need to be perfect. There is no, there is no getting it right the first time. I, when I did my first uh, Instagram live, I, I, I was like, look, this, I just know I want to do this. I, and, and I just told myself, this is going to be fun. And then uh, one of the, 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 the people that comes to the gratitude room joined in on my first Facebook live. And I'm like, wait a second, this is actually kind of cool. And the, so we had a little bit of dialogue. Now I save, I, I'm saving every single video that I do on Instagram when I do it. I then transfer, I download it and I try and save it on my hard drive. So I have it for the future. I may have never do another thing with it, but it's there, you know, and, 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 and what I'm seeing is 
but every video I get a distinction or I get uh, to be able to do something a little bit better. And, and I'm not in my head because they say, if you're in your head, you're dead. So I try to stay in my heart. And uh, when I'm in my heart, this is, this is where, where, yes. where the magic happens. And, and uh, uh, someone came into the room last week and they shared, if you follow your heart, you will always end up in the right destination. And I think that that the, the only thing then you need to know is when are you following your heart versus when you're following your head? Because I think when you follow your heart, there is a flow that happens. So when you follow your heart, you will always end up in the right destination. And so that is that is what I'm striving to do. And that if I were going to tell leaders, leaders live in their heart and leaders have the capacity to feel and share. And that's what I would say. Leaders have the capacity to feel and share. You have to feel what other people are, are going through, what they're dealing with. You have to feel your feelings and you have to be able to share and create a space that people feel safe in, build the culture, develop it, and uh, allow and allow others to, to, to become leaders. And leaders create leaders. If you look at my, my clubhouse profile, it says I create leaders with gratitude. And that's what I do. And there's been so many leaders that, that, that have, 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 have popped out of that popcorn of gratitude to become to become uh, better people and to help help me lead uh, uh, the, everyone to a, a place of gratitude and to create that grateful culture. Well, Garth, we've come to the end of our life and I am eternally grateful to you for holding <laughs> my hand through the, my very first life. I'm going to do more. I promise people I'll do more. But thank right. you so much. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It has been fun. You're absolutely right. And I was a little bit nervous at first. because I was like, oh, I'm going to be out there doing this live. And I'm not ready. I'm not used to doing live. I used to do live um, podcasts, but nobody could actually see me. So, yeah, great to be seen and to be heard and to connect with people on Facebook. Thank you guys for listening in and, uh, yeah, and for viewing this very first live. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Garth. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Afternoon. What are you, afternoon or evening? This is evening. And I'm, I'm happy to come back again and, and, and share some Please more gratitude. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> you did a great job. Awesome job. Thank you so much. You. Take care, everyone, and good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.